Welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this solve along video, we're going to learn how to do addition and subtraction in scientific notation. But how exactly do you do that? Is it like regular addition and subtraction? Or do you need to follow special rules before you start adding and subtracting them? The simple answer is that it is like regular addition and subtraction, but with one special rule. The exponent for base 10 should be the same for both numbers. The situations may be different, but remember that we will always be referring to this rule all throughout the video. And the best way to gain mastery of this concept is to use it several times, so solve along with me. Just remember that the final answers need to be in scientific notation. There will be a 3 second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video and solve it on your own first, or just watch the video straight. Alright, let's start solving. This example is pretty easy since both base tens have the same exponent, which is 8. And since it is already following the one special rule that we mentioned earlier, then it means that you simply have to add 5.23 and 2.77. The final answer is 8 times 10 to the 8th power. This is another easy example since the exponent for the base 10 of both numbers are already the same, which is 17. Now, you only have to solve 6.9 minus 4.3. The final answer is 2.6 times 10 to the 17th power. This problem can be a little bit tricky. If your answer is either 10.4 times 10 to the 20th power or 10.4 times 10 to the 21st power, then your answer is wrong. Notice that the exponents of base tens are not the same. It means that you cannot simply add 3.5 and 6.9. Always remember the one special rule for adding and subtracting scientific notation. The first step is to make the exponents of 10 the same. The smaller number is 6.9 times 10 to the 20th power. This means that you have to tweak it a little bit so that the exponent of 10 is 21. When you increase the exponent of 10 by 1, it means that you also have to divide 6.9 with 10. Now, you only have to simplify it a bit. And voila! You can now add 3.5 and 0 0.69 because the scientific notations have the same power of 10. And the final answer is 4.19 times 10 to the 21st power. Once again, you cannot immediately subtract 1.2 and 9 because the powers of 10s are not the same. This is very similar to the previous example. The first step is to make the exponents of 10 the same. The smaller number is 9 times 10 to the 20th power. Let's add 1 to 20 so that the exponent becomes 21. 
and since you increase the exponent by 1, you have to divide 9 by 10. You can now subtract 0 0.9 from 1.2 since both scientific notations have a multiplier of 10 to the 21st power. The result of the subtraction is 0 0.3 times 10 to the 21st power. Hmm, but is this already in scientific notation? The scientific notation follows the form a times 10 to the nth power. But you gotta remember that a should be between 1 and 10. So subtract 1 from the exponent of 10. This leaves you with 10 to the 20th power. You now have to multiply 0 0.3 with 10 because you subtracted 1 from the exponent of 10. And the final answer is 3 times 10 to the 20th power. In this problem, the exponents of base 10 are once again different, but this time around, the exponents are negative. Let's explore how this can impact the solution. Which one do you think is the smaller number? If you answer 3.3 times 10 to the negative 7th power, then you are mistaken. 10 to the negative 7th power means that you have to divide by 10 million. And 10 to the negative 8th power means that you have to divide by 100 million. This means that the smaller number is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 8th power. You have to tweak 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 8th power so that the exponent of 10 is negative 7. And how do you do that? You can do this by adding 1 to it. So add 1 to the exponent and divide 6.6 .6 by 10. Now, you can add 3.3 and 0 0.66. This will give you a final answer of 3.96 times 10 to the negative 7th power. The problem is similar to the last example, except that you have to do subtraction. The smaller number is the one with a multiplier of 10 to the negative 6th power. To transform the exponent to negative 5, you have to add 1 to its exponent and divide 2.5 by 10. Alright, now you can solve for 2.5 minus 0 0.25 because they have the same power of 10. This will give you a final answer of 2.25 times 10 to the negative 5th power. You've been adding numbers in scientific notation in the previous examples. But what will you do if one number is not in scientific notation? Don't fret or panic, just relax. The first step you should do is to convert 7,500,000 to a number with a multiplier of 10 to the 7th power. In case you need a deeper explanation, then feel free to check our explainer video about converting numbers into scientific notation. You can find the link in the upper right corner of the screen. or the description below. You might be thinking, Hey! 0 0.75 is not between 1 and 10. It is not in scientific notation. And you are absolutely correct. Remember that your main concern here is to comply with the rule that the numbers need to have the same power of 10 before adding. 
since both numbers now have the same power of 10, you can now add 0.75 and 9. This will give you a final answer of 9.75 times 10 to the 7th power. Try this similar problem. Convert 1,300,000 into a number with a multiplier of 10 to the 5th power. Moving the decimal point 5 units to the left will give you 13 times 10 to the 5th power. 2.5 minus 13 is equal to negative 10.5. But since the absolute value of negative 10.5 is greater than 10, we have to divide it by 10 and add 1 to the exponent 5. And the final answer is negative 1.05 times 10 to the 6th power. Now, let's make it a little bit challenging by performing addition and subtraction with two numbers in regular format and one in scientific notation. If you're thinking of converting all numbers into scientific notation at this point, then you'll just make the solution longer for yourself. And you don't want that, right? So the first step is to add 250,000 and 35,000 in their regular format. After that, you can now convert 285,000 into a number with a multiplier of 10 to the 6th power. Moving the decimal point 6 times to the left will give you 0 0.285 times 10 to the 6th power. Again, you can refer to our explainer video about converting numbers into scientific notation in case you still find this step difficult. Now that both numbers have the same power of 10, you can now perform simple subtraction on 0 0.285 and 1.2. This results in negative 0 0.915 times 10 to the 6th power. Take note that the number is not yet in scientific notation because the absolute value of negative 0.915 is less than 1. So, multiply negative 0.915 with 10 and subtract 1 from the exponent 6. The final answer is negative 9.15 times 10 to the 5th power. Now, what do you do if two numbers are in scientific notation and one number is in regular format? The first thing you have to do is identify the biggest power of 10. In this case, that would be 10 to the 4th power. Now, try to convert 85,000 into a number with a multiplier of 10 to the 4th power. Moving the decimal point 4 times to the left will give you 8.5 times 10 to the 4th power. You can freely solve negative 9 plus 8.5 since they have the same power of 10. The next problem is adding two scientific notation numbers that have different powers of 10. Multiply 0 0.5 with 10 and subtract 1 from the exponent 4. Solve for 6 minus 5, and the final answer is 1 times 10 to the 3rd power. We want to know more about your pain and struggle in math, so comment below which problem you find most interesting, and let us know why. Now that you understand how to do addition and subtraction in scientific mutation, and also recognize some of the common mistakes that you might make. It means 
that it's time for me to leave you with a little exercise. Can you try solving this on your own? Comment your answer below. We will be revealing the answer and step-by-step -step solution in our next Solve Along video. It'll be about how to multiply and divide numbers in scientific notation. So be sure to subscribe to teach me animated math. And don't miss out. See you next time.